good morning to all today in the subject of cryptography and network security we are going to discuss about the osi security architecture what is this osi security architecture to assess the uh, security needs of any organization okay uh, in effective manner uh, the people who are responsible for security need some uh, a systematic way uh, to define the requirements of security and also to characterize and to find out the approaches to satisfy those requirements uh, one of uh, one approach is to consider uh, uh, is uh, has been formulated as uh, osi security architecture so uh, this ensures that uh, this architecture gives you the systematic way of defining the requirements and what are the approaches to meet those requirements in concern of the security so in this osi security architecture we are dividing into three categories one is security attacks number two is security mechanism and number three is uh, security services so what is this security attack uh, what uh, when you talk about when you hear this word uh, attack an action uh, whatever that compromises the security of information that is said to be an attack if some unauthorized person whoever is not taking part in communication uh, uh, get access to that particular data it is said to be an attack what is security mechanism means uh, the mechanism what are all the process that has been designed to detect and prevent uh, uh, a system uh, from an attack and to recover from an attack is said to be an security mechanisms what is security services uh whatever services we have to enhance the security of the data processing uh, systems uh, and also the information transfers of any organizations okay so these uh, what are all the services are in, uh, intended to provide counter security to counter the security attacks so this is said to be and security services okay so security attacks is nothing but compromising the security of an any organization to overcome the security attacks what are all the mechanisms i have to detect the attack has happened or to prevent or to recover from that particular attack is said to be a security mechanism and security services is nothing but to enhance the security of data processing systems and the information transformation of any organization so that is said to be a security so as we discussed uh, the passive and active attacks are the two broad categories under uh, passive attack we have two times uh, two types of attacks one is release of message contents another one is traffic analysis and active attacks we have uh, two categories uh, four categories number one is masquerading number two is replay of messages number three is um, modification of messages and number four is denial of services so we will see about all these types of attacks in upcoming slides uh, under passive attacks number 1 is release of message content so as i said passive attack it doesn't make any changes in my system resources so it is very difficult to identify that passive attack has happened in my system because it is not doing any changes in my system so what is the nature of this uh, passive attack is it will just eavesdrop or it will monitor the transmissions so it will be an uh, silent uh, person and it will just uh, uh, take part in the communication it will never do any changes so no other person or uh, it is very difficult to prevent these kind of attacks so as i said number 1 is release of message content so here it has been depicted in a diagram i have two users or uh, a bob and alice bob is said to be an sender and uh, alice is said to be an receiver uh, bob is sending a message or email message to alice meanwhile uh, darth is the third person who is not taking part in this communication who is an unauthorized person who is reading the message contents from bob to alice so this bob and alice that is sender and both receiver is unaware of this kind of um, person who is reading the messages they are just sharing the messages 
so uh, this is what the release of message can without an access without an uh, access or he is not an authorized person to read that message is bob is sending to allies but it is unauthorizedly read by the third person called dot okay so this is an um, kind of um, um, passive attack so uh, if uh, a bob is sending some sensitive informations or confidential informations uh, it, it has been leaked to that without knowing uh, to the two end parties so this is said to be an release of message content second one is traffic analysis what is this traffic analysis so even though uh, we are talking about this encryption exist in a place an opponent might still will be able to observe the pattern of the messages what kind of messages or what kind of communication or what kind of messages has been transferred between two end parties what all these uh, uh, patterns of messages has been transferred the opponent will be able to determine the location and identity of the communication hosts host and also will be able to find out in what frequency they are communicating whether they are communicating daily or in an every hour or how far their their pattern of communication has been taking place and what are the length of the messages uh, uh, that has been taking place between two end parties these are all will be analyzed uh, by uh, or these are the patterns will be analyzed some unauthorized person so this is said to be an traffic analysis if you see this both um, a release of message content as well as traffic analysis since the third party is kept keeping silent and uh, observing the messages or reading the messages without disturbing the uh, actual way of actions uh, it is highly uh, uh, impossible to find out that attack has been happened uh, in my communication channel okay so this is all about the passive attack so we will discuss about active attack in the next lecture thank you